I don't even know why I come back. I feel like the chair is more entertaining. Um, probably just do that at one point. Anyway, right, let's go. Be ready. Oh, we were going to change the effect on this skill. I still need to do that, yeah. Damn, that went right through his barrier. Like, completely destroyed his barrier. Those undead looked elven. Ancient. Well, whoever they served, they're fighting for the gods now. Ooh. Okay. Duck Force One. How did the poop in washing machine story end? Oh man. Uh, actually, pretty well. We we ended up doing. Beware uh -oh. the ancient that sleeps here, dweller. I think it took like eleven different washes with vinegar and uh, enzyme cleaner. Yep. It was bad. What happened? Um, we got a new puppy who had really bad, uh, as we call them, pooties. And she had some really bad pooties on a bed. And somebody who was trying to be helpful wrapped up that to put in the laundry room to be cleaned and then put in the dryer or the, the, the wash. But the message didn't make it to the laundry room that the blanket had to be cleaned before it went in the wash. So what happened is... <laughs> uh, a giant amount of not super well held together feces got washed in a washing machine. And what's interesting about washing machines <laughs> is that they're actually just giant drums with holes in them. And when they spin really fast, everything in it gets splattered across the outside and the inside of it. So... um. We ruined our washing machine is what basically happened. So we, we um, the, the options were to basically get it disassembled and pressure washed and then reinstalled, which would have been like a thousand dollars. So uh, what we ended up doing was we did the other thing you can do, which is basically just doing empty washes with uh, vinegar and this, this special stuff called enzyme breakdown stuff. It's the same stuff that vets use to clean their areas. And what enzyme breakdown stuff does is but it basically makes contact with the, with the poop, it like immediately starts like aciding it um, down to to whatever it is. So it doesn't require scrubbing. Most importantly, so after like after the fifth wash of that stuff, it still smelled bad. After the ninth, you could get like a whiff, and then by the eleventh, it was gone. Like like zero zero left. So yeah. And and that saved us about a thousand dollars because the enzyme cleaner we got from our vet for like. 40 bucks and the vinegar was was almost nothing so yeah there you go little little story for you there fun <laughs> do i see a vip Corruption. undead i'd say we found out who's responsible watch out Whoa. Don't take it down who are you i like you um Oh god, wait, is he is he project oh he's projectiling bros. He's projectiling. Stop it. There you go. Nice one. Snipers. He's back. Turn. The fights feel so great when, like, they're not immune to you. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Feels so much better. 
Man, this dude is still a complete hoss. My god. He is taking so much damage. Ow. Whatever you say. Oh, let's see if we can get this going on him. Okay, so now he's got necrotic vulnerability. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, that seemed to do more. That absolutely seemed to do more. Someone follow up. Oh, it didn't last long though. I'm good. I wonder how often we can apply it. What? It's drawing power from the fate. For the wall. That should weaken it. Uh, uh, what? Ready, Rook. I'm about to get smashed, yeah. What did it say about weakening it? Oh no, he said something about weakening it, and I... Shooting for us. And I missed it. I missed the bus. Take him down. Need to pop the bubble. Oh, okay, okay, cool, thank you. Why is Rook in trouble? I'm not, I'm not even hurt. A story unfinished. Ooh, these guys have so much HP, my lord. Your turn. They're at range. Behind you. Now's your chance. Oh, God damn it. Nice move. A story unfinished. Bro, is a barrier up too? Oh, did it get bigger? That's not fair. Bro, it keeps blocking his thing. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's not. It's still going through. It just looked like it blocked, I guess. If we let that last longer, does the spell get stronger? Again? What will it take to stop this thing? Oh shoot, hold on. It's weakening the fate. Keep going. That should weaken it. Just say when. 
They're hitting us from afar. We need to close in. Not quite yet. They're all yours. Oh, good. Did we get it? Did we actually get it? Ready again. Maybe? I still, like, I can't get any mana back right now. God damn, I can't do anything. I can't do anything, dude. Oh my lord. Okay, yeah, let's get level 30 before we do this. <clears throat> we can do it. We absolutely can do it. But this game is not about if you can do it. It's about doing it how you want. Uh, and I'd rather do this with level 30 skills. Yep. Well, on my 28, and at level 30, we unlock, like, a whole bunch of awesome class Beware stuff. Is this the main the quest? Game. I'm assuming that's the main quest boss, right? Yes. I think. Wait, the Heart of Corruption. Oh, is that the other quest? No. Oh. Damn, that's a side quest. But it opens up sealed off areas of the crossroads. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so let's go do this. We're gonna do this quest and hopefully get level 30 and then we're gonna spec our guy right and then give it a try there. That sleeps yep. here, dweller. Death and blight have not tempered its rage. That was a great fight, though. That's a super cool fight. Multi-phase, lots of ads. I don't feel like I was doing it right, but that was just something I had to learn. Which is cool. I'm here for it. Uh... Oh. All of these are probably going to unlock when we beat that guy. Cool. Okay. Nice. Uh, Alan Kaze. Hey Ko, this summer I finally got my motorcycle driving license and clocked in around 9,000 kilometers, 5,500 miles, in under two months. Nice! It has been pure enjoyment with a friend. How is your motorcycling going? Uh, Alan Kaze, thank you for the $10 tip. I am not currently motorcycling. Yeah, I'm, I'm not currently motorcycling. And uh, it's, it's for, I've talked about it a couple times on stream, but just like a private reason. But I, I'm looking forward to riding again in the future. Are you here to help Lavender? But I'm not writing right now. I'm Bastion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's more out there than Blight. You must be careful. Of what? I heard something from up at Gaspin Manor while I was escaping here. The place has been abandoned for years. Mm -mm -mm. They say the Lord had some cursed treasure. One day he just disappeared. Could the Blight awaken a curse? If it draws evil here, the treasure's up there somewhere. It should have been destroyed. Can we update? Uh, can we upgrade the caretaker? Let's go take a look real quick. Be uh, but tactical system, yes. Yep, that's that's the TLDR. Mm -hmm. uh, we go here. What happened with the arch? They're still making it. Yeah, still making it. Last I checked. Let's go. Sell the bike, acquire a Corvette, and join the club. Yeah, maybe one day. I'm very happy with my car right now. But honestly, it's been, it's, I, I may have to get a new car at some point. We'll see. One day. Bam! Nice. New enchantments available. Ooh. Okay. All right, enchantment. Uh, let's do. Necrotic resistance. Area ability damage. That's our big stuff. Uh, we got a duration. We'll do the duration. Sure. Ooh, um. Fire damage.
get some more more stuff on that. Oh. Yep. I'll take plus one max pots. Okay. 50% necrotic resistance inside of radius. Let's do less. Well, we don't. Is cooldown a thing? Not really. Our cooldowns are actually pretty great. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? What? I, maybe, maybe one of these. I mean, fifty percent is crazy. What do you guys think? Wait, you can enchant abilities? Yes, you can. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I say every time I bring up this, so many people are like, "Wait, you can enchant abilities? What? You absolutely can." Yes. Let's do armor damage. Oh. Okay, maybe we should do barrier damage with the first one. So maybe you should be barrier damage. So one will be for barrier and two will be for armor. Yeah, I like that. Uh, yeah, 50% damage, sure. Sure, let's do that. That's nice. Yeah, those are some some honking abilities, chat. Those are those are chungusy. All right, looking at Lucanus. Ugh. Like, okay, one one thing that drives me crazy. How are you gonna do all this attack my target stuff, but not give us an attack my target hotkey ability? Like, if I could click a button and it would do my attack my target without having to hit tab, that'd be amazing. But I don't really use any of that. So, uh, let's see. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, apply necrosis on armor break. That could be cool. Huh. Maybe auto strap for companions. Oh, oh, they're auto abilities. We're already doing that. Yeah. Oh, these are all for me, right? Yeah, so I, I would gain these things. Not him. Let's do gain deflect on armor break. I feel like that could be good. Actually, no, no, no. Let's do 20% stagger. That'll be fine. Man, Harding, we gotta we gotta improve her equipment. Mm-hmm. That nation's reduced cooldown. Yeah, that's that's fine. Whatever. All right. I think we're about good here. Great. No lamps on. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going back to here. I, I want to do like just the tiniest bit of main questing to the point where we can just get level 30. And then I want to really look at our build and figure out something cool. There's some really fun things we can do with our build pertaining to this guy, I think. Overcharge your range attack, spending 200% of the usual mana to deal 200% damage. That could be really cool. Expend 50 mana to create a powerful surge in your ranged attack, giving it the power to detonate sundered targets. That's going to be insane. So we're going to, we need two sunder application people. Actions that consume mana now consume health when mana is depleted. Gain bonus damage relative to the amount of health your target and you have lost. Yeah, dude. Like this is, oh my lord. This is going to be so cool. I cannot wait to get this. Uh, Alan Kaze. To the best mods on Twitch. Also, chat, go ahead and try this donation system. It's so good. I'm telling y'all, can't stop can't giving the mod check. team my money. It'll save Evco and Antoine to everyone. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate you, Alan. Thank you for tipping our team. Quick note, by the way, all tips to this channel on Twitch go to the active senior mod team. So big thanks to those that do it. Uh, we do really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. 
Are there any enchants that negate elemental immunities on bosses? That's what I was looking for. I was seeing if there was anything that we could reduce resistance, kind of like, um, yeah. Oh, active general mod team. I'm sorry, active general mod team. Seniors, I pay myself. <laughs> but yes. Something's blocking it from the other side. I mean, the mom team? No, the mom team is something completely different. Um, that's that's in our OnlyFans division. Uh, okay, we're gonna go this way. I think there was a quest over here somewhere. Gotta poke around a little bit. Who are the senior mods? So the way that the team works is I have a handful of mods that, that I basically pay like part and full-time job worth myself. And those those are the senior mod team. And then we have a fleet of general mods. And those mods get all of my tips. And uh, when we do mod days, which we haven't done for a while, we need to do more mod days. That all goes to them and stuff like that. So it's just, it's different. Uh, there's different responsibilities expected of them, different requirements, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So all of my tips go to the active general mod team. Okay, let's go this way. The mod primes. Yes, all of the senior mod teams can actually get together and they Voltron together and create a streamer. It's pretty wild. Super cool when they do it. Hmm. This area is a little creepy. When saying tips, can you please put more stress on the P? Listening from the other room, the message gets really strange really fast. Really? Why? We love tits here. Love tits. In fact, if 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 you could show your tits to the mod team, that'd be great. They love seeing your tips. Absolutely. What? What do you think I'm saying? That's weird. <clears throat> Yeah. But no, like I try to say all the time, anytime you want to flash your tips to the mod team, please do. Or or if you just want to give them the tip, that, that works too. What, really, whatever you want to do. Yeah. <clears throat> we just appreciate it. If it involves you and tips, we're good. We are good. This was farmland. Everyone loves tips. Like where my ma lives. Oh, you know, I get it. I do. But if you're going to have an explodey wall, maybe not have this thing just going through it because the wall has not been exploded yet. So there's not a hole in it yet for that. Anyway, nobody cares about that, right? <laughs> I'm like the only person that actually cares Check about stuff like that. I don't even know why I keep talking about it. Rook. Are you looking for an excuse to fire that thing? I am, yes. Why? <laughs> oh. Well, that made... You know what? No. <laughs> Whatever. You need to stop it. Uh-oh, you are very fiery. On to you. How about this? Oh, you're fire ant. Come on, man. No, it says you're fire. What? Hold on. No. Oh, maybe. Did he have armor on? Maybe he had armor on. Got him in position. Why is my fire not doing damage to him? when he is vulnerable to fire. Am I am I seeing this wrong? There, fireball. No, that is 100% immune to that. 
but he doesn't have any modifiers. Weird. I don't know what's going on there. Oh well. We're doing a lot of damage, so it's fine, but that's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he has some hidden modifiers because he's an ogre? Maybe? Oh well. Oh! Now, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I thought this skill was adding necrotic damage. You're telling me this is converting necrotic damage? 